living here ain't either.
threat not stopping you. These damn monster armor stirring up tensions. Keep my eyes open. Watch out for the puzzle. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Shard, just Words to look. Look. Buy what you need, leave the rest. Little spark. Any sign of that man? I found him, Jira. I think you two will have a lot to talk about. I like a good story. And a good drink. It's why I'm good at what I do. He's bringing you both. Kendert wants to be with you. He regrets that he took the word of the... Yelderman? Women know their place in the claim, was their word. It's the Karja's son that bakes their brains and gives them such thoughts. That's... the tribe. You can't bear a grudge. It'd make you go mad. <laughs> My silly man. Little Spark, how can I thank you? There'll always be a drink for you at Hunter's Gathering. Take a look. You're back. I've gotten some reports, so I have a notion of what you're gonna say. That your man Zaid was running a slaving operation right under your nose? He was never my man. But I won't make excuses. I should have dug harder for proof of his guilt. I'll be a full investigation. If you see this young woman again, assure her she'll face no reprisal. And please, offer her my personal apology. Do you really think that will help her? No. I don't suppose it will. But for every shadow, there's sunlight. I hope she'll see that one day. Lakir came back on his own, a little words for wear. He seemed a bit embarrassed when I mentioned you. Dare I ask? He has a lovely singing voice. That's a capital lie if I've ever heard one. I'll have a talk with him about it. You have an officer here by the name of Zaid. Are you aware of the accusations against him? Look, I've heard what your people say about him. But he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. Now, if there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it. And the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about those missing men. Lakir came back on his own, a little worse for wear. He seemed a bit embarrassed when I mentioned you. Dare I ask? He has a lovely singing voice. That's a capital lie if I've ever heard one. I'll have a talk with him about it. Time to get going. If you go east, be on the lookout for my men. You're in the thick of it. These aren't goods, they're in the center.
powerful. Burns at my fingers, but not like the corruption does. By the sun, are you Nora? I've never seen one at a hunting grounds before, or at the Hunter's Lodge. How interesting. What do you do here? This is a place to test yourself against a herd of machines in the stamina trials. Think you can handle it? I know I can. Excellent. I like your spirit. You're awfully friendly. Well, you know, it gets lonely in the wilds after a few weeks. Terribly lonely, in fact. What about your friend over there? Oh, he doesn't count. Barely ever opens his mouth, and when he does, nothing interesting comes out. Who are you? Why are you here? Well, I'm a hunter, of course. And a member of the Hunter's Lodge. But I don't mind being out here. At least no one complains about my clothes or my manners. Or my personality? Don't let him in, he'll drive people off with his incessant chattering. Or, he stinks of fish again. That sort of thing. I don't stink of fish, do I? No, it's uh, more like wet fur. Well, that's something. What are the trials? The Hunter's Lodge makes sure hunting grounds around the world offer hunters a place to train. The trials here focus on the most important part of hunting, keeping your stamina up. Hunting isn't a sprint, it's a gauntlet. So all you offer is training? And a herd of machines. Plus, I'm allowed to award marks. Half sun, full sun, and blazing sun, if you do well. What is the Hunter's Lodge? A place in Meridian where hunters gather, socialize, and brag a lot. Me, I just love hunting machines. You've already won three half-sons, so you're eligible to enter the lodge yourself. Which one will you try? I'll explain whichever one you pick. The remains of watchers rest on three rises. Loot all of them before time runs out, and you pass. It sounds simple, but watch out for all the other machines down there. I'll start timing once you slide down the rope.
You won a blazing sun on your first attempt? Congratulations! In this trial, you must tie down a trampler and shoot off the component under its belly. I would have chosen the same one. Slide down a rope and I'll start timing. You won a blazing sun on your first attempt? Congratulations! Now's your chance to show you can snare Glinthawks. Lure them close to you, then tie them down in time to pass this test. Good choice. Slide down a rope and I'll start timing.
won a blazing sun on your first attempt? Congratulations! Did I tell you about the special gear? Well, you can get it since you have enough suns. Talk to Idaba at the lodge in Meridian. I have to get going. You know where to find me. later. Grapes. Can't be too prepared.
Maybe I've spent too much time with you. I can almost feel the lightning in this. And the taste, huh? Metal striking sparks along a sharpening stone, lingering. Here, uh, touch it to your tongue, and... Nope, that's your thing, not mine. You look startled. Are you okay? I... I must leave. You should too. Without a story, I brought down a stormbird. You did. You're very able. And you're right. Ode is ode. But no more stories of the past. All told. All done. Future stories. I saw an onrushing storm. The future comes hungry for man and machine. It will catch me, I expect, catch us all. So enough hunts, enough visions. I'll run, <laughs> chase that teasing sun to the forbidden west. I, I don't understand. I mean, not that I ever understand, but are you saying we should fear what's coming? Oh, yes! Jungle on fire! Machine blue light dying out in the eddies of ashes. You, fallen, pale as snow flash, eyes staring open. The metal world, but not the one I sought. The future is a frightful dream, Huntress. My name is Aloy. I grew fond of you. Your curiosities and disbeliefs, Aloy. If you weather this storm, look for me. I'd like that. Where? In the west? In the storm? In dreams. Yes.
intentions. I'm keeping my eyes on them. I've got all the best groups here. The people of Sunfall. We all know it. Spare a moment to speak of the finer things. This is hard to I'll take a brother's shift today. I'm sure as the sun's rising, she's all quitting. Imagine living anywhere else. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about her son. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work, keeping the city safe. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. I 
I hear King Avad is afraid he might hurt his brother if he I may not have all the answers, but there is a book of bylaws here which can tell you more about the Lodge. Um, suddenly you're a lot nicer. I saw you talking to Talana. She's tough. You'd be lucky to keep up with her, machine rider or no. What can I do for you today? How are the trials going for you? Have enough marks for a weapon yet? I believe I have enough here. What next? You brought in all the sun marks at once. You're going to make a lot of hunters jealous. Not that it takes much. I'm pleased to present to you a Lodge Blast Sling, a Lodge Rope Caster, and the Lodge Warbow. Congratulations, you're a master hunter of the Lodge. All I can give you now is encouragement.
Go on and give Assis those trophies. I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Redmaw. gave him my trophies, Asi said you should be spending more time finding Red Maw than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Maw right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. Defeated a stalker alone? Not many can claim that prize. What exactly is Red Maw? The meanest of all Thunderjaws. Some say the first. One swipe of its tail and five hunters go down. Its stomps can send boulders tumbling before it. More than a few have been crushed under their weight. And thus, many have died trying to defeat it. If Red Maw is so deadly, why do hunters keep going after it? Anyone who defeats this beast will surely be considered a champion. If that hunter is a hawk, he will become the Sun Hawk. I watched Tarkas try his luck. He jumped over each tail swipe, dodged every charge, evaded every shot from its gun. Stumbling under its feet, he ran out to fire at range, but it unleashed disc launchers. The first missed him but not the second. Who was Tarkas? Tarkas, son, light his passing, was a hawk, a respected hunter. He sponsored Talana many years ago. If Talana was his thrush, why did he fight Red Maw without her? I went to watch the battle. She should have received word he'd picked up its trail. Someone at the lodge failed to pass it on. Someone like a cease. What are all the ranks of the Lodge? First, a fledgling is a fledgling. They're not ranked, nor are they members. Membership itself has two ranks, Hawk or Thrush. Thrushes are members sponsored by a Hawk. They can't become a Hawk until their sponsor leaves or passes away. Last, the Hawk who brings in the trophy from the fiercest machine is the Sun Hawk. He serves as ceremonial leader of the Lodge. So now that Talana is a hawk, she could become Sunhawk? Yes. If she defeats Red Maw before Arsis can, then she will take his place. I should head back out on the trail. To the hunt. So you bagged a stalker? Don't expect me to be impressed. I'm about to be sponsored by a hawk. And after that, well, we won't be speaking as equals again. Able 
able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. He has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's gotta be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. It looks like a wooden bracket, not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. Did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace, and that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Road tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable shell? Get him the fire and shut up a bucket line! What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Here we go. Oh. 
fascinating news for the trail. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It Didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Someone here? Starting to hear it. Why does Avad always have his lady do the fighting? Not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. like fighting these things because there's more in the way
This old last. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. 
The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Oseron devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman. Just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. A moment of your time, Outlander? Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Ha ha! It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh! You think that bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart? I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my bomb without it. Think I'm done? <laughs> think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. While the lunkheads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me, I'll dig myself out. Just you wait. When I get out of here, I'm gonna plant a Thunderjaw lure in your bedroom. Gotta admit, it burns me that a savage track me down. Most Nora get confused by anything more than two sticks and a string. Don't you have something better to do? Like choke on a lance horn. You think that spear of yours is so fancy, but I could craft it blindfolded during a quick nap. Riding machines? Am I supposed to be impressed? Get one to serve me lunch, then I'll take notice. You're like a burr in a boot, you know that? Just so irritating. Hammer to steel. I hate you. Someday, I'm gonna build a machine for the specific purpose of pulling your braids out. 
By the great flaming forge, just leave me alone, Red. Why does King Avad protect the people of Sunfall? A moment of your time, Outlander? I hear King Avad is too busy. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Errand Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. You want to help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, Elsadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glinthawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Asi should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Why'd you try to kill the Sun King? I'll make sure Osadi makes it back to Lone Light. Meet you there? It's just northeast of here. I hope you can help us in Lone Light. 
I'll make sure El Sadi makes it back to Lone Light. Meet you there? It's just northeast of here. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosing. Doctor of all without breaking a sweat. It was Draval. He tried to kill the Sun King. <laughs>